a few moments later. Hi everyone, Anthony here with Aces Adventures, and welcome to another Dead Mall episode. And this one is an interesting story of how this came to be. So, this place has been under the radar, and I didn't even know about it until recently, but when I figured out on my Route 66 journey I was going to be passing in the relative vicinity of this place, en route to Oklahoma City, I had to make a quick detour to get to this place. So, as you notice now, and are probably asking yourself, well, none of the stores are open, so what's going on? Well, about that. So it turns out this property is actually closed on Sundays. So as you saw in the opening of the video, I walked in the front doors, locked, locked, and more locked. So I'm like, uh, hmm, well, what to do? As you guys know, I don't break into places, so I'm obviously not going to do that. So what are my options? Well, fortunately for me, uh, there is a Chinese restaurant that is uh, attached to the mall. And one of the wooden doors um, that goes into the mall was open. So I just kind of nonchalantly walked into the mall and uh, got some footage and then, and then got out of there uh, as quickly as possible because I didn't want to cause any disturbances. Um, but that's essentially how that happened. Um, so <laughs> that's what you're seeing now, guys. And a couple of the wings of this mall are blocked off with this vinyl PVC fencing type stuff uh, where the anchors were. So that's kind of an interesting thing, how this mall is dying, but I've never seen that before, where the wings are blocked off like that. So didn't get to spend as much time in this property as I wanted to, and in fact, I looked and looked and looked and could not find any information on this, well, almost any information on this property. So if you are a local, I'd like to get a good discussion going down in the comments below. Please uh, let me know what you know about the history of this property. So here are some facts that I was able to... Uh, find through some pretty intensive research and it's not much. So this property, interestingly enough, opened on Leap Day, uh, February 29th, of course, 1984. So this mall is 36 years old. It is 650,000 approximate square feet. And the original anchors, what I could find, if I'm wrong, please let me know, were Dillard's, Newman's, and J.C. Penney. Um, it had a 12 restaurant food court and it has approximately, or had approximately 95 stores uh, when it was fully uh, occupied. The, uh, the mall was purchased by SB Retail Group, Carlsbad LLC, in December of 2016. The mall has dribbled it down to approximately 27 stores left, if that, which I even debate if there are even that many left. And then in November uh, 2019, something pretty unique happened. Um, an, an inmate at a local prison actually called in a bomb threat to one of the stores where his either girlfriend or ex-girlfriend worked. And they had to evacuate the Walmart nearby and uh, the mall itself. So it's kind of a unique thing that happened. And then uh, as I, you will see at the end of the video, the JCPenney is actually closing. So this mall is falling on very, very hard times, as are many malls across the country. Um, this was a cool place to see, and I'm glad that I was able to, to, to pop in and, and, and get a few shots for you guys. There is a pretty cool um, food court neon sign that unfortunately is off because the mall was not technically open. Um, but uh, I didn't want to stay in here too long because technically probably wasn't supposed to be in here. But again, no harm, no foul. We didn't have any Ill, Ill, Ill intentions. Just um, noticed the door was open at the Chinese place and squeaked in and got some shots and uh, got back out of there. Um, couple things about Aces Adventures I want to mention before I get out of here. Um, I have instituted a new permanent time slot. Uh, it appears that, uh, through my poll you, you guys um, prefer Fridays over Sunday releases, so I'm a man of the people. So going forward from now on, permanently, Aces Adventures videos will debut on Fridays at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's 6 p.m. Uh, West Coast time. So the notification system for YouTube is broken as shit right now. So um, views are way down, subscribers, like everything is way, way down. The algorithm for YouTube is massively effed right now. And uh, the best way I can think of to remedy that situation is to at least have you guys know 100% when I'm going to put out a new video. Now, having said that, there will be live streams that will be sprinkled in on other days and whatnot, but uh, all new 
produced debuted videos will be Fridays at 9 p.m. permanently moving forward um, for the rest of the life of the channel, which hopefully is several years to come. So that way, that hopefully will eliminate any confusion and uh, will also give you guys who may be working possibly at that time a chance to check the video out all weekend. So hopefully that will that will help. Um, please consider becoming a Patreon donor at patreon.com slash acesadventures. Um, and then also, I am very active on social media. I have a Facebook page, which is Aces Adventures, and also uh, I'm quite active on Twitter and Instagram, also at Aces Adventures One. Um, make sure you follow me on there and stay uh, stay in touch with all the latest happenings with the channel. There is much more uh, content coming still from Route 66. Uh, I have uh, uh, more malls to show you guys in, in the upcoming weeks from New Mexico and a couple other places as well as the video that will be coming up as well too from the Woolworth uh, cafeteria, the last one remaining in Bakersfield, California, among several other things. Uh, I have some other side projects. I'm heading to Michigan and Lots of stuff coming, so lots of new videos coming for you guys. That's about it. Going to get out of here and let you enjoy the rest of the tour. Thank you so much for watching. As always, this is Anthony with Aces Adventures, and stay tuned, stay tuned for more Dead Mall content. What you gonna do?